Judge Romulus, do you have anything to say to this? Yep. yep. <laughs> that receipt's not mine. I haven't stepped foot in a chocolate shop in years. You cannot be serious. The receipt is indisputable proof of yours to purchase. You're the only person named Romulus in all of France. I'm sure of it. Indisputable. Watch me dispute it. <laughs> what you have there is a scrap of paper with the word Romulus scrubbed on it. Is it a forgery? Are there simply two men named Romulus living in Paris? I don't have a clue. What I do know is that you have nothing to prove that I was the one who signed the receipt. This is absurd. Do you want me to dig up court documents with your signature so we can undertake a handwriting analysis? Paw writing analysis. Mm. No, they have hands. You're right. That wouldn't be possible. I believe his honor uses a rubber stamp for signing off on official court documents. Like a fucking dickhead. Yeah, that would be correct. Damn, we you see, I covered my tracks. For real. Well, it's no matter. I don't need the judge's signature. I already have, in my possession, proof that the signature on the receipt belongs to Judge Romulus. The pen. The pen. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, but first things oh. first. I believe you dropped your pen, your honor. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's fine. Thanks, I've been looking for that thing everywhere. Got his ass! I thought as much. <laughs> you stupid bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Madames and messieurs, last night I was assaulted outside saint Petri Hospital. I did not see the assailant's face, but I did accidentally grab something from the garments as I was thrown into the sign. Oh, so that's why you smell like fish. I wanted to say something, but I thought it might be rude. Hush, Spurfison. This fountain pen is the very item I grabbed. Did, did I say that this pen was mine? On closer inspection, I see I, I must have been mistaken. <laughs> uh... Save it, your honor. I am not here to press assault charges. What interests me most about this pen is the ink it contains. It is emerald green in color. And as we all know, only baddies write in green. Well, yes, but more importantly, it's a rare and unusual choice of ink color. One of the only colors a dog can see. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, yeah. I would venture that only a dozen people in all of Paris are elegant enough to write in green. Like you, Coco Nico. What? And I would venture that only one of those elegant people is named... Romulus. But yet Romulus lacks respect for class classic penmanship. What of it? Take another look at the chocolate receipt, Severin. That receipt was signed. Ba -ba With emerald green ink! It certainly is quite a coincidence. <laughs> no! There is no more room for coincidence. There is no more doubt. There is only one narrative that can tie this ridiculous string of evidence together. On the 6th of January, you, Judge Romulus, brought a box of chocolates with a custom filling. That custom filling contained poison, originating from the flowers of Mademoiselle Signier, a street seller who owed you a debt. On the 7th of January, you, Judge Romulus, leveraged that debt to force the girl to present the poison chocolates to the king. Then, an idiot of the man by the name of Juan framed himself as a murderer to, in order to take the fall in Mademoiselle Signé's stead. You pushed for Juan's guilt by priming our witness, Monsieur Toussaint Kingley. And when that failed, you pressured Mademoiselle Signé to take full responsibility for the crime. Imagine being a juror and going in thinking it's a cut and dry case of like attempted regicide. And, and now here you are getting whiplash. Getting whiplash as the judge is made out to be the mastermind of this manipulative plan. I'd be in the corner with my fucking phone holding it sideways, screaming world star. World star! And, like, world star! Fucking yelling, oh. I hope you know I've been like pacing back and forth with my hands firmly <laughs> clasped behind me <laughs> and like raising it up with like the single, my pointer finger up and pointing at each declaration. I love it. I love it.
Oh, that again. is the only narrative that makes sense. Admit it! You're goddamn right, I did it. I purchased the chocolates. I added the poison. I put a peasant girl in debt just so I could force her to take the fall. I was the one who wanted the king murdered. But there's not a damn thing any of you can do about it. I am the one who holds the gavel. I am the one who passes the sentences. With a Bowser snap of my fingers, I could have each and every one of you guillotined in the Place d'Asterlitz before nightfall. I don't know that word. <laughs> Who judges the judges? Who stands above me? Nobody, not even God, can condemn when I sit so highly. Who watches the watchman? Yar, attempting to murder a king. Corrupting the court of asses. What an utterly repulsive individual. <laughs> uh... Am I the only one who's still hung up on Court of Asses? Sorry, I'm away what? from my monitor. I'm pouring my wife's coffee. What are we selecting right now? Yeah, you accidentally yeah. clicked on the book. Yeah. Oh. Don't touch me, you dirty pig. You have no authority over me. I'm not a pig. I'm a, I have a I'm pig. I'm a chicken. Oh, he doesn't. I do. Take him away, Inspector. Yar. I'm not done. Wait, I was monologuing. Get off of me. You're off, baby. I'm not done with any of you. You're all guilty, you'll see. A revolution is coming. The rebels will overrun Paris. The king and government will fall. The bourgeoisie will be slaughtered. Is he a good guy? I'm having a Joker moment. We shall have a glorious second republic. A republic free of class, where everyone is free and equal. Let's have a truly classless France. With me at the top. <laughs> hey, don't, don't touch me. Yar. COVID restrictions, get back! Just another ranting lunatic, your majesty. Ignore him. He be on his way to the gallows. Let me ask you a question of, um, so we've, like, confirmed this takes place in the 1800s, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, no, they mentioned Napoleon. Yes. The revolution happened hundreds of years ago, like, Reign of Terror, all that shit. Well, I mean, there was another French Revolution that happened after the American Revolution. Yes, there was, but it was, like, pissingly and, like, you know, it didn't accomplish anything. Believe got rid of their monarchy. They had a monarchy yeah. when America had their revolution. Yeah. Yeah, so they had a monarchy going into the 1800s. I believe. Fair. It might have been like at the end of the 1700s. I don't I don't, I don't remember exactly what their whole so, situation is. And no, no, no. So at the end of the 1700s, yes, that's when the French mon of the French Revolution like was in its full fucking that's when the reign of terror was in its full fucking swing. Right. And then so, like at the end of the 1700s, like close to the turn of the century, that was uh, when Napoleon, as uh, like, he declared himself the fucking emperor of fucking, um, like, at the beginning of the uh, turn of the century, that's when Napoleon declared himself emperor of France. Yeah. What, what are you... So, so I'm trying to say is this, is that, um, actually, no. Sorry, I might be all, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm way off base on this. It was probably just that we, uh, ferreted out yet another... Like, anti-imperialist fucking cause. Well, there's, uh, Napoleon wasn't the last, like, he called himself emperor, but he wasn't the last, like, king or emperor or, like, the last monarch. That... No, no, he wasn't, he wasn't the last emperor or the last monarch by far, because they literally replaced him with a member of the, uh, the, the Bourbon monarchy. Yeah, yeah and then like, he came back and that was the Second since... Republic. So, our, our, our emperor, Lu Louis Philippe, right? Yeah. Um, uh, assuming so, He's Louis definitely Louis, post original Napoleon. Right. So King Louis Philippe is a real king, about about fifteen to twenty years after the first Napoleon. Right. So the Emperor Napoleon, presumably Napoleon the first, um, about twenty years prior to the events of this game, ish, hard to say. Assuming that this King Louis Philippe is the King Louis Philippe of actual French history. Oh, of course. Carry on, Inspector. Wait, so we're saying that we're still under Napoleonic rule? Uh, no. no how so? That was that was that was King Louis. Napoleon Louis 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 under Louis. a new Napoleon soon. Ah, okay, okay. Ellipses. Ellipses. See you, Ellipses. You're not a horse. What happens now? Uh. uh rabble, rabble. Okay. I, I, I guess I'm supposed to take over the president judge's duties. Well. Given the surprising series of revelations that just took place, we, we, we believe the results are clear. 
We find the defendant, Prince Juan Carrado, to be cleared of all charges. We therefore find the defendant not guilty. Not guilty. Huh? Not huh? guilty. We did it. Yeah, round two, electric boogaloo. What happens to me now? Who cares? I, I just can't. Mademoiselle, it is clear that you were coerced. However, you still played a significant role in the king's assassination attempt. By all rights, you must be tried for your crimes. I did try. I see. I cannot argue. Ellipses, but as it happens, due process will not follow during this trial session. Judge Romulus thoroughly disrupted the proceedings. Consequently, I believe that most of the testimonies given during this trial session would not have been seen as valid in a court of law. It kind of means you're off the hook. What does that mean? He's saying you're free to go. Run! Get out of the country! Correct. As a prosecutor, I have no crime to prosecute. Really? Thank you so much, monsieur! Bitch, I am not giving you free, like, handouts, get out of jail stuff. Like, just, just understand it's that, like, there is no case in my court right now that I'm responsible for that will charge you for murder. But there not will tomorrow. be- tomorrow! Yeah. Uh, and thank you, messieurs. Without your help and assurances, I don't think I don't know where I would. I don't know where I'm at right now. I do. It would be prison. So, are my parents really in Vienna? I think so. But you would have. You would have to ask the fox for details. I don't know what exactly he arranged. What a fucking mastermind! Like. It, like, the writing of this game has been boozled us. Well, it's been boozled me twice because he was going to do it. Anyway. <clears throat> Although now that Judge Romulus poses no threat, I suppose your penance would be free to move back to Pettis. Maybe, maybe wait like a month? He could get out on bail. Yeah. Or he could just get word to his boys to do something. Other wolves, strike them down. Actually, ellipses, I may follow them. To Vienna. You need a holiday after all this drama. Well, yes, but actually, no. But also, I want to get away from here before it ellipses. You know, before the fighting starts. What fighting? No revolution is on the horizon. There's an actual revolution. Well, yeah, it's France. They, you, there's a revolution every 30 well, years. You mean the revolution Judge Romulus mentioned? He doesn't seem mentally stable. Pay him no mind. It's not just him, monsieur. In the streets, everyone talks of an uprising. If you were smart, you would clear out of here too. Fires don't last well mm, in revolution. Big facts. Thank you for the concern, mademoiselle. Ellipses. But we're far from the start, so we're putting s stay. <laughs> <laughs> it's it. It's so amazing that like you miss every line of the sentence, but you still get the point of it. It's incredible. I don't know what to say. <laughs> it's a superpower. It's the worst it's one, like you, but it's a superpower. Like, I think it's you a absorb, superpower. Shit. You absorb. Yes, it's a superpower, Dia. It's fantastic. I love it. I'm telling. I, I don't I explain this before, but I'm just glancing at it, getting the gist of it, and then trying to bumble my way through it without actually looking at what specifically is written. Have you ever tried speed reading? Uh, I, I speed read a lot. Um, that's generally, when, when I read, I'm generally speed reading. That explains so fucking much. I, I almost exclusively speed read when I, when I am reading a book. So, I, I've done it, but I really only do it under, on stuff I really don't care about absorbing much out of. Yeah, well, so, what, what I'll do is I'll default to speed reading, but, like, what'll happen, and this hap this does happen... Because usually, paragraph to paragraph, you can predict what the next paragraph is going to generally have. If there's some, right, like... when you're watching a show with your wife about something... Like, like the next sentence isn't going to be surprising, typically. You have, like, a 60-40 chance to fucking guess what the next, like, line out of somebody's mouth is going to yeah, be. Yeah, and so, when it's, like, a whiplash of suddenly this... It, it's, a, it's like a car, mental car crash when that happens. And I have to completely re readjust and realign everything. Um... But otherwise, I, I'm speed reading. Like, I hear the thing, like, the way that you said or pronounced certain things. Yeah. And, like, looking at it, my brain just goes, yeah, that makes total fucking sense. If I was just glancing at it at the side of my eye while trying to talk in a different direction. All right. Um, uh, wait, mademoiselle, don't you want to have a quick celebratory drink? Oh, she's gone. 
So I guess it's just you and me and the fox, right, Falcon? Sounds good, Spedison. Take Prince Juan back to the aviary office. I need to sort out some paperwork with Severin. I... okay. Yeah, nailed it. I suppose the congratulations are in order. Covering the truth in this way that you did was quite a feat. Everything went far better than I could have hoped. But you surprised me at the end with that little lie of yours. Lie? This trial's testimonies are completely invalid bullock. You and I both know that this trial has produced ample valid evidence for Mademoiselle Signe to be detained and tried. Even with the coercion accounted for, I bet she still would be found guilty of conspiracy to a... Oh, wait, conspiracy or accessory to murder. So why are you holding back? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that was not what I expected. You know, ten, maybe even five years ago, I would have prosecuted the shit out of Mademoiselle Signe. When I was fresh out of law school, I thought my role as a prosecutor was to condemn every potential criminal that came my way. I thought, if the guilty person ends up behind bars or on the hanging dock, then justice has been served! However, as I gained experience, I started noticing the details. I think we're bastard people, you see. We are. I was upset bastard people. The details? The extenuating circumstances. The personal considerations. Perhaps in the law where, even when due process is followed to the letter, good people are punished and wrongdoers walk free! You saw yourself, what if you let Lady Dame Catalan free? I hated it, so I changed my role. I decided that I should not strive to secure a guilty verdict, but to ensure that justice is served. Champion. I could prosecute Mademoiselle Signier, and she would definitely be convicted. Would However, that, be justice? that would not serve justice. Ellipsis. You're a good lawyer. You're a good lawyer, Cocorico. You? Ellipses? Well, you're not terrible, Falcon. He didn't call you JJ. He didn't, yeah. That's gross. <clears throat> That's you, Justin. You're one. Let me gin up my throat. There you go. Gin it up. Lub oh, the correct verb is lubricate. I must congratulate you, Senor Falcon and Senor Sparrowman. Heh, <laughs> what am I doing using my old accent? Of course I meant, congratulations, Mr. Falcon and Mr. Sparrowson. Oh god, it got worse. It's no big deal. We're just doing our job. Should we? It sure did help me, though. If you could stop talking, that you don't even have to pay me. Just stop talking. Your job ended when we proved my innocence. Everything after that was you going above and beyond your duties. Of course, I was counting on you to do so. A lesser lawyer would have surely stumbled or caved in. But I forgot. Your payment. Thank you, Monsieur Volpe. This has been a strange case, but I'm glad the truth came to light. I'll see you out. Why do I gotta leave? Because I'm tired of fucking you dealing with you. Wait, Monsieur Volpe. Before you go, something's been bothering me. Your your accent. Why do you sound like <laughs> a hillbilly? I don't understand. You're French. Where are you from? Tell me! <laughs> Why did you come to us in the first place? Surely there are much more reputable lawyers out there who could have done a better job. Spoken reputable. What'd I say? Reputable? It was something like that. It's fine. Oh! More reputable than the Falcon that stands before me? Hello. Uh, yeah. Falcon's got a sucky track record. True enough! He sure does have a mixed record, but his family name's a hugely respected part of the lawyering world. I've even heard about it down in the mountains where I make my moonshine. Oh, that's why he said his grandfather. I choose Mr. Falcon as my lawyer for that reason alone. Really living in your father's shadows, huh, Falcon? Really? I've never heard of another lawyer named Falcon. Let's not go down this road, Monsieur Volpe. I don't go by my old name for the reason. Is it Hawk? <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. We shouldn't be fixated on the past, should we? After all, it's already gone and gone. The future is where our potential lies. That's what we should have been paying attention to. The storm is fast approaching. You mean the revolution of that the crooked judge mentioned? Sure enough. 
We're going to take those bushy ass motherfuckers and drink them up by the necks. We'll take you, lawyer, your high riding lawyers down, protecting the big shots. I dare say the wolf was right. A rebellion's a coming, and I'm the one way or the other. Listen, Falcon, you probably have a surge of work over the coming days. If you want to dig up dirt on anybody else, feel free to drop by in my office anytime. I'll even use my Spanish accent if you really want. I'd rather you didn't talk at all. Dig up the dirt? Sure. I'm a private investigator. It's what I do. Snoop and sneak and steal secrets. Is there any way you can privately investigate without speaking? Nope. Well... <laughs> well... <laughs> <laughs> Well, bear it in mind. Thank you, Monsieur Volpe. You'll burn it in mind. It's French. I'll go now. I'm going to get a drink. Yeah, I, I felt like we were getting dumber hearing him talk. Seriously, Falcon? What? I was just going to ask if you wanted coffee or tea. I don't believe you. Do you still got your AA chip? I pay you so you don't have to believe anything that I say. I'm going to save the game, Sparrowson. I'm Sparrowson. I meant Falcon. Yay! 